Take a moment to consider the abundance of life on Earth. Thousands of species have stood the test of time and survived the harshest of conditions, while many have ceased to exist over centuries. But when we closely observe the life forms that have prevailed, it becomes evident that their survival pivots on their ability to adapt and work in harmony with the natural systems of nature. The success of human agriculture was founded on our ability to work together with nature, nurturing it and graciously receiving from it. The 20th century saw tremendous prosperity and growth in population across the world. To fulfill food requirements, countries were forced to scale up their agricultural output. This introduced a radical shift in agricultural practices. Intensive industrial tools were employed for fast and large-scale production. Chemical inputs were introduced to offset the natural diseases that occurred in the crops. This has had devastating consequences on soil health and biodiversity. Industrialized agriculture has relied on monoculture cropping, increasing use of mechanization, the application of synthetic fertilizers, pesticides, and herbicides. This has led to many environmental challenges, including erosion, soil nutrient depletion, and contamination, loss of water resources and biodiversity, loss of forests and desertification, and the decline of traditional farming practices. Today, it is globally imperative that the growing demand for food be met in a manner that is socially equitable and ecologically sustainable over the long term. Regenerative agriculture is one of the approaches to growing food sustainably, as this is a conservation and rehabilitation approach to food and farming systems. It focuses on topsoil regeneration, increasing biodiversity, improving the water cycle, enhancing ecosystem services, supporting biosequestration, increasing resilience to climate change, and strengthening the health and vitality of farm soil. This is not only meant to benefit the ecological side of agriculture, but also to increase the returns for the smallholder farmers. Soils support highly abundant and diverse communities of organisms that range from a few micrometers for some bacteria to several meters in length. The soil microbial community is largely dominated by bacteria and fungi that represent a biodiversity pool with estimated species richness of tens of thousands per gram of soil. Healthy soils can provide improved nutrient management, enhanced water holding capacity, better control of weeds, diseases, and pests, effective carbon sequestration, efficient nitrogen fixation, Yogichi strongly believes in the importance of soil health and biodiversity to help us tackle some of today's biggest challenges. The emergence of regenerative organic agriculture is a great development both for farmers and our ecosystems alike, and we want to be a part of that positive change. Regenerative organic seeks to harness natural resources like microbes, flora and fauna to build soil organic matter. We think this is the best approach towards a sustainable increase in farm productivity mitigating climate change, and restoring degraded environments. We want our products to come from the healthiest surroundings possible so that our farmers can thrive and we can bring that goodness to your cup of yogi tea every day. Regenerative organic agriculture has many important applications, such as increased soil fertility, soil health, and crop yields, improve soil's ability to retain water for crops during dry months, and infiltrate water during wet months, improve water quality of groundwater and nearby waterways, improve habitat, biodiversity, and ecosystem health, reverse a system of carbon emissions to one that sequesters overall carbon. To achieve these goals, regenerative agriculture employs a wide variety of practices which work differently based on the crop and situation some of them are conservation tillage to reduce impact on the soil, multi-cropping, border and intercrops for higher variety 
and increased production. Cover crops to preserve the soil, improve fertility, help mitigate weeds, and function as a carbon storage mechanism. Crop rotation for better soil, nutrient, and pest management. Introducing pollinator strips to foster healthy functioning of ecosystem services. Designing hedgerow systems and biofencing that acts as windbreaks. Provide protection from wildlife and domestic animals. Enriches the soil and provides forage to pollinators. Integration of animals into cropping systems for improved income and lower fertilizer costs. Preparation and application of composts and biochar to enrich the soil and improve moisture retention. GIZ, Yogi T, and ABT McCormick are building this pilot project and training farmers in the western guts of Kerala, helping them adopt and practice regenerative organic agriculture methods on their land. Together, we're working toward the enhancement of the capacities of smallholder farmers in regenerative organic agriculture practices. The project on regenerative organic spice cultivation in the Western Ghats offers a great opportunity to evaluate the efficacy of regenerative organic agriculture for ginger and turmeric. The phased approach of the project will allow a data-driven assessment to see how regenerative practices bring measurable, increased results for yields, carbon sequestration, water retention, and soil health over traditional organic agriculture. Healthy soil is the cornerstone for a healthy community, and the future of our children and generations depend on it. To know more about regenerative organic agriculture and the benefits of implementing it on your land, join us in this program. Contact us to see how you can get started with regenerative organic agriculture in your land.